Hi everyone, it's Helen here and here's another five minutes of fitness. We're going to do all lower body and core strengthening for this little five minute workout, which could act as a standalone or you could latch it on to one of the previous more high energy workouts and give yourself a slightly longer program. So as always, just make sure you're prepared, you've got your mat, you've maybe got something to put behind your head if you feel you need to, maybe you've done a little bit of gentle mobilisation. We're going to start lying down on the back with the knees bent. So from here, make sure that the back of the neck is long, that when you look up, you're looking at the ceiling above and slightly forward rather than ceiling above and then behind you. If that's the case, a little tiny bit of something behind the head just to bring the chin down. You want to soften the ribs and find the natural curve of the low back. So somewhere between having your back crest flat and having your back heavily over arch, softening around the rib cage, around the shoulders, hands just rest, pelvis is level and the feet and knees are about hip distance apart. We're taking that slight corset, that wrapping, slight tightening around the centre of the body and we're maintaining that same curve in the low back. If you find through this first exercise particularly that that doesn't work for you, if you feel you're being dragged, then very slightly bring your lower back down to the floor. Don't jam it down, but if you absolutely have to, drop it down. Just that slight pull of the pubic bone towards the navel. So with great care and bearing in mind that this may not necessarily work for everybody, so do please modify, you're going to float your right knee above your right hip. You're creating an upright thigh, thigh, an upright line of the thigh. Flex the foot and keeping that feeling of balancing through the back of the pelvis with the shoulders relaxed, just get a switch. So one knee up, one knee down, one knee up, one knee down. And you'll notice that I'm not really changing the angle behind my knee. Not really changing it. So the pelvis stays very level and still. You definitely don't feel like you're diving forward. That arch in your lower back is not increasing. The shoulders and the upper body are still relaxed. And you're only bringing that thigh to the upright. Don't bring the leg in, because that will cause your back to flatten. Breathing smoothly in through the nose, out through the nose of the mouth. Take the breath into the fullness of the rib cage. Just keep the movement going in time with the breath. You're going to feel this perhaps a little bit through the front of the thighs and into the hips as well. We'll do a few more of those. You should feel this tightening and tensing slightly into the abdominals. That's four, three, two, one. Bring that knee in, let the back flatten, bring the second leg alongside. Just give the back a little bit of a massage. You're going to place your feet one and then the other back down and then roll over onto your side, bend your knees so that your heels are in line with the bottom, reach the bottom arm away and let the head rest down. If you need to, you can put a little something between the arm and the ear. Okay, just shoot down a touch. Good, okay, so you've got shoulder with the shoulder, the hip above the hip, really lengthen away through those waists, make sure your head's not pressing heavily forward. You're going to bring your top arm up and over, as if you're going to bring fingers to fingers. You're going to bring the top arm up, and as you breathe out, slide the rib cage down and just gently side bend. Don't push into the underlying arm to do that, and then back down again. So as you breathe out, just a little bit of a side bend, being pulled by the top arm, not being pushed by the lower arm. And it's a tiny bend. You'll just get this feeling of keeping the legs nice and heavy, keep pushing the hip away from you, and a feeling of sliding the ribs down towards the waistline. So you're getting a little side bend from here. If you can, as you breathe out, bring the lower arm up as well, but that may not necessarily work for everybody. Watch out for tension in your neck. So you can get really tense in the neck. Turn the head if you need to, to look down at the space in front of your underarm. And this is going to work into the side of the spine, into that waist. You'll see that the feet stay right down. There's no lifting of the feet as you do that. Let's just do a couple more of those. So abdominals continue to wrap around. Tiny movement. Do one more. But quite specific. Good. Release that. 
bend those knees, push up, give your neck a moment, and then simply turn around, do the same thing on the other side. So, I've got the feet in line with the bottom, with the knees bent, head resting down, a little something between the arm if you need to. Think about lengthening out that waist, so engaging those abdominals, hip above hip, shoulder above shoulder. Top arm comes up and over. As you breathe out, just let yourself side bend. One side will feel significantly different to the other, but it's just this top arm pulling you as opposed to the lower arm pushing you. You need to keep wearing that imaginary corset as you do this, otherwise with the effort of lifting up, your tummy pushes out. And you want to keep that slight corset bracing sensation around the center of the body. And again, watching out for that tension in the neck, chin stays softened slightly in, turn the head if you need to, just to take some of the stress out of the neck. Or you could look up if you prefer, it's entirely up to you. Shoulders stay down, away from the ears. Sometimes your t-shirt will slide right up around your neck. As long as your shoulders aren't, that's fine. So again, you're gonna feel this into the waist and into that uh, lower back, uh, back of the waist area. And again. And release. Okay, push through, give the shoulders just a little shrug. Okay, and bring yourself around onto the hands and the knees. Now, as always, if working on the hands and the knees doesn't work for you, you can put a couple of um, big books underneath you and your forearms down, or if you've got a little footstool, that's fine. Hands are below the shoulders, knees are below the hips. Widen the shoulders, draw the shoulders down, fingers and wrist creases facing forward. And from here, establishing again the natural curve low back, engage those abdominals, working either on the top of the feet, or some of you might prefer to work on the toes. So as you wish, without driving the weight forward, breathe out, float the knees just a couple of inches off the floor, and then back down again. You can't really see it because of my trouser legs. But as you breathe out, you're just lifting an inch or so off the floor, and then back down. And as you push up, draw the shoulders down, keep those abdominals engaged. You'll probably notice that those abdominals engage just a little bit more deeply as you do that. So this is a little movement that we call bear in Pilates. There is a progression to this, and maybe we'll do that on another day. So again, if you preferred, you could do it from the toes. It's just the smallest lift though, we're not trying to get the bottom right up onto the ceiling. Just gonna do that a couple more times, shoulders down, press firmly evenly through the hands. And one more. And then release. Shake out those wrists, roll out those shoulders. If you feel so inclined, do it all again, or maybe add it on to another of the exercise uh, videos that we've previously done. I'll see you again tomorrow.